Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Heather and I am a Beyond Quantum Healing Hypnosis Practitioner. Um, I wanted to make like an energy update part two. <laughs> I just made one the other day. It really wasn't an energy update, just something that I've been experiencing and I think there are many people that are experiencing it. So I wanted just to share some of the things that I've been doing to help. But um, I'm still getting my butt kicked. <laughs> I am still getting my butt kicked energetically. And um, I've been doing a little research, you know, with uh, the astrology that's happening. I mentioned in the last one, the Lion's Gate's coming up. And the message that's been coming through for me is this one is intense. So I think all Lion's Gates are very intense. I think all of these big energetic portals have so much energy, but for whatever reason, this one is having a massive effect on me. So it may be having a massive effect on you as well. Um, as I tuned into the energy today with my guides, they talked about um, a heart expansion that's going on or a heart activation. And if you've ever had a heart activation or are aware that you're having a heart activation, it feels like a lot of heavy energy in your chest. It feels like anxiety. It weighs you down. It makes it hard for you to think or do anything because you just feel that anxious energy. So that is what I received today, a heart expansion and also um, just the energy of this portal is very intense. <laughs> and I asked, I said, how much longer, <laughs> you know, do I need to experience this or, or, you know, are we experiencing this? And of course the answer was after the portal. <laughs> so it makes total sense, right? So I just wanted to share this with you because I've started noticing other people are posting as well about um, just having a hard time. I know for me, a lot of fear is coming up, which is a good thing. It does not feel good. It feels heavy. It feels um, intense. And, you know, I, I am normally a very high frequency, high vibe person. Um, I love the high energy, but the last two weeks have just, they've kicked my butt. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. So it may be, you may be feeling the same energy. Um, you know, they always say, and I say it too, go easy on yourself. You have to send yourself more love because love can override the energies within the body, those heavier, dense energies that we're releasing right now. Um, loving yourself, sending love to others, wrapping yourself in love. I know it seems, you know, too easy of something to do, like you need something stronger and more powerful, but love really is the answer to overcome everything. Um, loving everybody, even those who aren't really doing some great things right now, send them love instead of sending them anger or hate or rage because when you do that, you are only adding fuel to the fire. You're only keeping that energetic active. Um, you're only adding to what, what you don't already like. So I've been taught over the years if you don't like something, take your focus off of it and send it love. You know, if you can't see it or shift it into a different perspective, just send as much love energy as you possibly can because that will help to transmute that energy instead of keep keeping it active. You know, so many things are unfolding right now and it I think for a lot of people, it's bringing up a lot of uncertainty. We don't know where this world is going. We don't know how things are going to end up. Um, you know, if you're on the ascension path, then you understand that we are shifting into a higher state of consciousness, into more of a unity um, lifestyle as opposed to this duality, these polarities that we're existing in now. 
Um, we're going to live a life where things are more unified. But right now, it's as if we are being shaken. And it's almost like what they're showing me right now is the world is being shaken so that all of those fear-based energies, all of that density, all of those low frequency energies that we've been holding, that the earth has been holding, it's being shaken loose right now and it's coming to the surface and we're all feeling it at very different levels and it doesn't mean that everybody's feeling it, uh, it just means that some of us. Um, I also, what comes through is that some of us have the ability to transmute some of that energy as it comes up. So <laughs> I feel like that's a little bit of my role, even though I don't really care for it that much <laughs> because it's been really heavy for the last couple of weeks on and off, not consistently. Um, but what the guides were sharing with me today is to breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe through these feelings, these fears, the anxiousness, um, whatever is coming up for you. Um, and even if nothing is coming up and you feel amazing, still breathe because the breath is your connection to source. The breath is what opens you up to receive that higher higher information, the higher consciousness. It, it connects you even stronger with your higher self and your guides. It shifts the energy within the body. I was listening to a Dolores Cannon book, um, The Convoluted Universe, which I just talked about in a past video. And um, I just went over this part. I think, let's see, I think I have it right here. Um, did I write it down? Yes. So I wrote down, through the breath lies the connection to source. Holding the breath holds fear in the body. So breathe deeply, connect to source, and just release that fear, release that those worries, that anxiety. Um, we do. We hold the breath. If you think about, if you can like catch yourself when you're breathing, Unless you are a practiced, you know, you practice breath work, you probably breathe very shallowly. I catch myself doing it all the time and I'll just take in a big deep breath just to shift that energy. But breath work is so important. Um, in quantum healing hypnosis sessions, I can't tell you how many times the guides have come in and stressed the importance of breathing, breathing in and holding and allowing the air to just expand all the way down in your belly, expanding the lungs. It's doing so much for you on a physical and an energetic level. Um, so just breathe through it. And I, I had an, a client that I worked with just recently. Um, you can find her session actually on my channel. Um, I think it's called a Protector, a Healer. Oh, and I can't I can't remember the last one but you'll find it it's a protector a healer and, and something else um, and she came to me for two sessions from her first session to her second session she started experiencing all of these upgrades and that happens to us you know when you're ready to start going to the next level you're going to start receiving these energetic upgrades or updates to your system and when you're experiencing that, of course, you don't know you're experiencing it. You just feel differently in your body. And that can come in in anxiety and feeling like this pressure in your chest or in your stomach. And so she had asked me before her second session, or she had mentioned that she was having just really severe anxiety and she never experiences anxiety. It's just not in her, in her, you know, her day to day. And so when we, t when we tapped in and, and asked the guides about it, that's exactly what they said, that she was receiving activations and upgrades, which is what came through for me today, heart activation, heart expansion. And that can very much feel like chaotic, anxious energy within the body. And they taught her or told her just to breathe through it. I mean, I know it seems so simple, but 
ladies, if you've had a baby, <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking to my ladies who have had children, you understand that that's, that's what they teach you. Now, I'm going to tell you, for me, I threw that breathing out the window. I was definitely holding my breath in some pain, so I didn't. The breathing didn't work for me, but that's what they, they teach you, and they teach you that for a reason, to breathe through the pain, to breathe through that energy, and to release it, because when you're constricted, when you're holding the breath in the body, you're holding all that energy in and it just gets worse and worse. And like I said, if you've had a baby, you understand that that is, that's true. So if you're experiencing any of these emotions, this fear, anxiety, any of this, um, you know, even anger and rage at what's happening in the world and, you know, or sadness, grief, loss, whatever you're feeling, when you feel that energy, use the breath as much as possible. Breathe very deeply and hold the breath for a moment and then release it through the nose or through the mouth. I like to say release it through the mouth. Um, I think the guides have shared that before that it, it just helps to release that energy in a better way. But however it works for you, but breathe through it. It's, um, it's funny because I tell my daughter this. Um, she's very sensitive to pain. Bless her heart. <laughs> she just, she gets um, something hurts her and she just falls apart. And and you can see her physically, like her body, like you know, closes up and she, you know, starts the shallow breathing. And I just am constantly telling her to breathe, breathe. And I almost like when I'm standing there in front of her, I will open my chest up to show her how to bring that, how to release the energy. Because the more constricted she is, it's going to take that, that pain longer to dissipate. In my opinion, you know, when you can breathe through it and just allow the energy to flow through, um, that pain will pass a lot, a lot sooner. So, um, the breath work is very important. If you are energetically having your butt kicked right now, I send you so much love and so much light because I feel you. I feel what you're going through. And if you are in a great place right now, you know what? Hold the light and hold the love for those who are struggling. I think that is part of a light worker or a star seeds, you know, job. I think there are those of us who go through this sort of purging and releasing experience. And then there are those who are very stable in their energy. And it's almost like they're holding space and, and holding the light energetically for those who are going through this struggle. And then we move through it and we can go back into that place of holding the light and and holding space for others who are going through this 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 shift because remember i've said this before we're in the process of releasing the density and the density is all of these low frequency energies and um, thought forms and things that we have packed in our physical body Um, Not just from this lifetime, I talk about this a lot, Um, but we have brought this energy over from unhealed and unresolved wounding and difficulties and experiences. We're because we are we are a soul and that soul is having different lifetime experiences. It's one soul, but that soul is fragmented into these different life experiences. That energy comes back up into the soul and it will come back into your life for you to heal and release it because it needs to be healed and it needs to be released. And we're going through that as well, along with all of the upgrades, updates, expansions, <laughs> all of this, um, you know, astrological activity with the Lion's Gate. And, you know, we just had a, a full moon and we've got a new moon coming up soon. And I mean, we're always going through that cycle. But it's intense right now. So if you are feeling intense, just take some time to breathe. And even if you're not feeling intense, take some time to breathe. (laughs) The guides would say, breathe, breathe, breathe. That's one way of really helping you to shift the energy. I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you in the next video.